I got to bring up something that happened uh, the other day. Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton was talked to about playing quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Now, this article over at CBS Sports says, no matter how fast the Justin Fields hype train rolls, Andy Dalton is continuing to operate as QB1 for the Chicago Bears. When the veteran quarterback signed with the club in free agency, the organization wasted no time dubbing him the starter for the upcoming 2021 season. However, the drafting of Justin Fields has, at the very least, put a ceiling for how far Dalton's tenure with the franchise will last. Now, he spoke with reporters on Wednesday and he, it, he explained that he understands the hype from Bears fans surrounding Fields, but reiterated that it is his job. He said, you can't focus on that. If you focus on that, then it's going to beat you down. I know who I am. I know who I was created to be. I know where my identity lies. Do I want the fans behind me in this team and all that kind of stuff? Yes. Do I want them behind Justin? Absolutely, I do. But that is not my focus. I can't focus on all that right now. Like I said before, Justin's going to have his time. Justin's going to have a great career. And here we go. But right now, it's my time. So my focus is being the best player I can be for this team and do everything I can to help this team win. I, I love this. And then there is a part of me that is going, this man knows that he ain't going to be the starter for long, right? Like, there's, there's no way. This is, this is the head coach's job on the line. And if he goes to battle with Andy Dalton instead of Justin Fields, that's it. It's ball game. I, I, I love the idea of putting this out there, but I also know what the truth is. You, you kind of feel the same way. So what's Andy supposed to say in that situation? Exactly. I, I wish they wouldn't even put him out there. I know they have right. to. But no, one ain't on it. I'm, I don't mind them putting him out there. But that's this is what he's got to say. He's got to have confidence in himself. And and I'm gonna tell you this. I do think that Andy Dalton's gonna start the season. Yes, he's gonna start the, the season. But now here's the question, Gary. What if they win? And then what if they win the next game? And what if they win the next game? And yeah. what if they just keep on winning? Like, they, are we yeah. just gonna wait until they lose? And then oh, you lost a game. So let's say you're four and one. You're gonna pull Andy. Isn't this kind of what the Dolphins did last year? No, 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 no. This is nothing like what the Dolphins did last year. Nothing like Okay, explain to me the What the Dolphins did last year, nobody else has ever done. And by doing what the Dolphins did last year, they threw away a playoff opportunity. Yes. They they took a playoff opportunity, and they threw it in the trash. And I'm going to tell you, Matt Nagy knows he can't do that. I don't know. I mean, the Bears made the playoffs last year, and and everybody was ready to fire him anyway. Yeah, but it it doesn't matter. That, That... Look at how the season played out. Look at how they made the playoffs. That's that's different. This is not what the Dolphins did. Brian Flores and them are in a completely different situation. Nobody was coaching for their job. All right. Everybody in Miami is thrilled to have him. Nagy, Nagy can't take a chance of of losing games if Andy is winning. Now, that's a big if, all right? Nobody believes Andy's gonna win. Okay. True. Very few people believe Andy's. Well, I mean, they win. they start off at the Rams. Like yeah. it's not, <laughs> but if Andy wins that game, I mean, damn, what do you, what do you say? Well, I mean, after that, you've got Cincinnati in the next game. Then you've got yeah. at Cleveland and you got Detroit. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. so like I said, let's say they end up one and three, a three and one. You, you can't fire him. You can't bench him or yeah. four and one. I mean, what do you do? That, you just got to keep, if you're nagging, you got to keep rolling. If yeah. you're nagging and you're really coaching for your job, you really do have to win. You really do. At if they, all costs. If they put Dalton out there, they really believe that he is their best opportunity to win. Well, I think they're going to put him out there regardless of what they believe week one. Yeah, because you, you don't want to believe. You don't want to put Fields out there against that Rams defense. That's I don't even know that you're worried about that. It's still just too early. It's still just not not a lot of people like starting the rookie quarterbacks. And 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 I'll tell you this. I, I'm I am agnostic about it, okay? I have no feelings whatsoever. I think if the guy's ready to go and the veteran you have, you know, isn't as good, I, I want to play the best guy. But I'm not ever going to be upset at a team that's saying, hey, we want to – look, the Chiefs sat Patrick Mahomes for an entire season, and they they played Alex Smith, and they weren't good. They weren't good at all. But okay? all the guys at practice knew that Mahomes was Everybody the guy. Everybody knew they all Patrick was the guy. Yeah. But nobody, nobody cared because yeah. the difference is, is Andy had trust. Yeah, and Andy had a job. Like, Matt Nagy may not have a job. 
That's where it gets different. Well, that's what that's what I'm saying. A- Andy has the trust. Like we assume that what he's doing is the right thing. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. 